Welcome now to a presentation of the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, celebrated this Sunday for those who are unable to actively participate. Today's Mass is sponsored by the Sarah Club of Omaha in cooperation with WOWT NBC Omaha. The Sarah Club thanks the following advertisers and sponsors for their generous support in presenting the Mass for shut-ins. The Sarah Club also thanks all those individual donors that make this program possible. Good morning. We're pleased to share with you the Mass of the Roman Catholic Faith. We especially invite you who are homebound or hospitalized to join in spirit all the faithful worshiping today. Our presiding celebrant is Father Walter Nolte from St. Patrick's Parish in Fremont. He is assisted by our lectors, Sarens John Fitzpatrick and Tim O'Neill. Our musicians are from Creighton Prep High School in Omaha. Singers Max Mengen and Isaac Hang. The pianist is Cecilia Jensen, with music director, Mr. Rob Chesser. And I'm your commentator, Tom Haller. Jesus rejoices in finding those who are lost, and he welcomes them home. Today we are reminded that God's love is eternal, and we are welcome to come to his kingdom everlasting, righteousness, peace, love, and joy. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins and so prepare our hearts to celebrate the sacred mystery. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us your body and your blood. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand, hand of the Father. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. For you for alone are the Holy One. one. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. With the, the Holy Lord. Spirit and the glory, glory of God, God the Father. Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon us, O God creator and ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy, grant that we may serve you with all our heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Go down at once to your people, who will go out of the land of Egypt, when they have become depraved. They have soon turned aside from the way I pointed out to them, making for themselves.
Welcome now to a presentation of the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, celebrated this Sunday for those who are unable to actively participate. Today's Mass is sponsored by the Sarah Club of Omaha in cooperation with WOWT NBC Omaha. The Sarah Club thanks the following advertisers and sponsors for their generous support in presenting the Mass for shut-ins. The Sarah Club also thanks all those individual donors that make this program possible. Good morning. We're pleased to share with you the Mass of the Roman Catholic Faith. We especially invite you who are homebound or hospitalized to join in spirit all the faithful worshiping today. Our presiding celebrant is Father Walter Nolte from St. Patrick's Parish in Fremont. He is assisted by our lectors, Sarens John Fitzpatrick and Tim O'Neill. Our musicians from Creighton Prep High School are singers Max Mangan and Isaac Hang. The pianist is Cecilia Jensen with music director, Mr. Rob Cheshire. And I'm your commentator, Tom Haller. Jesus rejoices in finding those who are lost, and he welcomes them home. Today we are reminded that God's love is eternal, and we are welcome to come to his kingdom of everlasting righteousness, peace, love, and joy. Then the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers, sisters, let us call to mind our sins and so prepare our hearts to celebrate the sacred mystery. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us your body and your blood. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, Amen. and on Amen. earth peace to people of goodwill. goodwill. We, we praise, praise you, you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify <coughs> you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Your seat at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon us, O God, creator and ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy, grant that we may serve you with all our heart, through our, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Go down at once to your people whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, for they have become depraved. They have soon turned aside from the way I pointed out to them, making for themselves a molten calf and worshiping it sacrificing to it and crying out, This is your God, O Israel, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. I see how stiff-necked this people is, continued the Lord to Moses. Let me alone then, that my wrath might blaze up against them to consume them, then I will make you of you a great nation. But Moses implored the Lord his God, saying, Why, O Lord, should your wrath blaze up against your own people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt? with such great power and with so strong a hand. Remember your servants, Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, and how you swore to them by your own self, saying, I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky, and all this land that I promised. I will give your descendants as their perpetual heritage. So the Lord relented in the punishment he had threatened to inflict on his people. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our responsorial psalm this morning is, I will rise and go to my Father. I will rise and go to my Father. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense, thoroughly wash me from my guilt. 
and of my sin cleanse me. I will rise and go to my Father. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. I will rise and go to my Father. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit. A heart contri contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. I will rise and go to my Father. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, I am grateful to him who has strengthened me, Christ Jesus our Lord, because he considered me trustworthy in appointing me to the ministry. I was once a blasphemer and a persecutor and arrogant, but I have been mercifully treated because I acted out of ignorance in my unbelief. Indeed, the grace of our Lord has been abundant, along with the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. This saying is trustworthy and deserves full acceptance. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Of these, I am the foremost. But for that reason, I was mercifully treated, so that in me, as the foremost, Christ Jesus might display all his patience as an example for those who would come to believe in him for everlasting life. To the King of ages, incorruptible, invisible, the only God, honor and glory forever and ever, amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to listen to Jesus, but the Pharisees and scribes began to complain, saying, This man welcomes sinners and eats with them. So to them he addressed this parable. What man among you, having a hundred sheep and losing one of them, would not leave the ninety-nine in the desert and go after the lost one until he finds it? And when he does find it, he sets it on his shoulders with great joy. And upon his arrival home, he calls together his friends and neighbors and says to them, Rejoice with me, because I have found my lost sheep. I tell you, in just the same way, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous people who have no need of repentance. Or what woman, having ten coins and losing one, would not, not light a lamp and sweep the house, searching carefully for it until she finds it? And when she does find it, she calls together her friends and neighbors and says to them, Rejoice with me, because I have found the coin that I lost. In just the same way, I tell you, there will be rejoicing among the angels of God over one sinner who repents. Then he said, a man had two sons, and the younger son said to his father, Father, give me the share of your estate that should come to me. So the father divided the property between them. After a few days, the younger son collected all his belongings and set off to a distant country where he squandered his inheritance on a life of dissipation. When he had freely spent everything, a severe famine struck that country, and he found himself in dire need. So he hired himself out to one of the local citizens, who sent him into his farm to tend to the swine. And he longed to eat his fill of the pods on which the swine fed, but nobody gave him any. Coming to his senses, he thought, How many of my father's hired workers have more than enough food to eat? But here I am, dying from hunger." I shall get up and go to my father and say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I no longer deserve to be called your son. Treat me as you would treat one of your hired workers. So he got up and went back to his father. While he was still a long way off, his father caught sight of him, and he was filled with compassion. He ran to his son, embraced him, and kissed him. His son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I no longer deserve to be called your son. But his father ordered his servants, Quickly, bring the finest robe and put it on him. 
put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet, take the fattened calf and slaughter it. Then let us celebrate with a feast, because this son of mine was dead and has come to life again. He was lost and has been found. Then the celebration began. Now the older son had been out in the field, in the field, and on his way back he heard, as he neared the house, he heard the sound of music and dancing. He called one of the servants and asked what this might mean. The servant said to him, Your brother has returned, and your father has slaughtered the fattened calf, because he has him back safe and sound. He became angry, and when he refused to enter the house, his father came out and pleaded with him. He said to his father in reply, Look, all these years I served you, and not once did I disobey your orders, yet you never gave me even a young goat to feast on with my friends. But when your son returns, who swallowed up your property with prostitutes, for him you slaughter the fattened calf. He said to him, My son, you are here with me always. Everything I ha have is yours. But now we must celebrate and rejoice, because your brother was dead and has come to life again. He was lost and has been found. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This is a very familiar gospel to us. It's one of the longer ones that we have. It's so beautiful, though. It needs to be read in its fullness because of the story it tells, the story of God's love, the story of mercy, of mercy, and our invitation to enter into the story with God's mercy entering into our hearts, us being received back into the house, into the heart of the Father. Have you ever wondered what the older son decided to do? Did he go into the house? The father goes out to meet both sons where they are and pleads with them, begs, with them, begs them, come in, rejoice. He, I imagine, too, that as the younger son approached the house and the father runs to him, that the son did not get the words out that he had prepared so well to be forgiven, that he sinned against heaven and against earth. So as soon as he said the words, began to say the words, it opened his mouth, the father silenced him, Shh. seeing him, running to where he was and meeting him with compassion, with mercy. I imagine as the father said, my son, you are with me always. He clapped, my son, you're with me always. You've never left. You've never lost your identity. You've always been my son and I've always been your father. He's pleading with the older son the, the same way he was teaching the younger son. He said, son, you're my son. Everything I have is yours. Be in relationship with me. Be in right relationship with me and with your brother and with the family around you. You are here in my heart always. The father approaches them with mercy. The sons never stop being son because the father never stops being father. Our identity, brothers and sisters, is rooted squarely in the heart of the Father. We don't know who we are until we know who we are in Christ in the light of the Father's love for us. So because the Father ne never stops being our Father, we never stop being His sons or His daughters, despite how much we sin, despite how much we rebel, despite how much we squander in the world, and how much we, we refuse to be in relationship with our family and friends and those around us. God's mercy, God's love, God's compassion is for us. He invites us to enter into his heart, the house, of his, uh, the house that will be our dwelling for all eternity. The Father is inviting you to enter into his mercy. Will you accept his invitation? Will you rejoice with him over, those, over, over his mercy and over those who with you come back to the house of the Father and are forgiven? God's mercy is so powerful. Receive it today during this Mass. Ask for it. Ask to reclaim any identity you've lost as a son or daughter, and God the Father will restore it. He runs to us before we even ask. Praise be the name of Jesus Christ, now and forever. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, 
and and the the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in fulfillment with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. Now in confidence, friends, let us place our prayers before the feet of our God. For the church, that as the visible community of faith, hope, and love, Christ's message of salvation will be delivered through us to all people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for those who have fallen away from the church. May they know that they are always welcome in the house of the Lord, who is always loving and forgiving. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who serve and ordain ministries in the church may be examples of Christ and inspire the faithful to transform the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. On this being Grandparents' Day, we pray for all those who have raised children and grandchildren. May they be blessed eternally, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the needs of this community, our sponsors and supporters, and for you, our viewers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the Murphy family, we pray to the Lord. Loving God, we are grateful for your mercy. We're thankful for your love. Pour your mercy into our hearts and as you pour into our hearts, may we learn to share it with others. We ask this all in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you for your support of the Mass for Shut-Ins. Since 1964, your prayers and generosity has helped the Sierra Club of Omaha bring the Mass to so many. We continue to pray for first responders, caregivers, and for the health and safety of all priests. The Sierra Club of Omaha thanks you again. And as we continue on our mission to support and pray for an increase of vocations to the priesthood and consecrated religious life with the spiritual intercession of our patron, St. Junipero Serra, the liturgy of the Eucharist now begins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. And Lord, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the glory of all this church. Look with favor on our supplications, O Lord, and in your kindness accept these your servants' offerings, that what each has offered to the honor of your name may serve to the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so love the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things with sin, that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, 
He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, George, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the, that we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word of my soul shall be healed. present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the working of this heavenly gift, O Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies so that its effects and not our own desires may always prevail in us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
Go in peace. Please join us as we recite the Sarah Prayer for Vocations. O God, who wills not the death of a sinner, but rather that he be converted and live, grant we beseech you, through the intercession of the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, St. Joseph, her spouse, St. Junipero, Sarah, and all the saints, an increase of laborers for your church, fellow laborers with Christ to spend and consume themselves for souls through the same Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We thank you for joining us today in this great prayer of Jesus. It is a prayer that unites people throughout the world. We invite you to recite the Sarah Prayer for Vocations. If you would like a prayer card, contact us through WWT. And please join us for the Mass for Shut-Ins next Sunday morning at 1030 on Channel 6 WWT. I'm Omaha Archbishop George Lucas. The Sarah Club of Omaha, in cooperation with WOWT NBC Omaha, began airing the Mass for shut ins in 1964. Each week, the Mass is viewed by thousands in Nebraska and Iowa on WOWT and is also seen online by many others worldwide. Please know we are praying for you as you watch in your home or in other places, including retirement centers and in hospitals. We are indebted to our supporting sponsors, to so many parishes, and to you who for years have remembered the Mass with your prayers and gifts. We ask you for your continued support in order to serve all of our viewers. Thank you for your generous assistance, and may God bless you and your family. You've been watching The Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, brought to you as a public service by the Sarah Club of Omaha in cooperation with WOWT NBC Omaha. We hope you will join us again next Sunday for the Mass for Shuttings.